Good evening, I'm Andia. And now for more Caribbean news on the national and international scene. More Caribbean nationals are becoming U.S. citizens. Last year alone, 131,935 first-generation Caribbean migrants took the U.S. citizenship oath compared to just 68,577 in 2007 and 90,979 in 2006. A Cabot World News analysis of the latest Department of Homeland Security figures recently revealed. The majority were from the Spanish-speaking Caribbean, with Cuba topping the count at 39,871. They were followed by nationals from the Dominican Republic at 35,251. Jamaica was the lone English-speaking Caribbean nation to rank among the nations with the highest number of naturalizations. For the entire Caribbean region, they ranked third with 21,243 naturalizations in 2008, compared to a mere 12,314 in 2007. A lot more Haitians also became citizens in 2008. Some 21,229 Haitian migrants took the citizenship oath last year, compared to 11,552 in 2007. Other Caribbean countries did not see as dramatic an increase. Guyana's first female president was cremated Tuesday following a state funeral. Thousands gathered from all across Guyana at Quarantine's Badu John Crematorium to bid adieu to Guyana's first American-born Jew, Janet Rosenberg Jagan. Mrs. Jagan was the wife of Guyana Premier and late president Dr. Chetty Jagan. Jagan, who died after a brief illness on March 28, was 88 years old. She is survived by two children and five grandchildren. Jamaica's national carrier Air Jamaica may now be divested in the next three months. Minister with responsibility for the airline Don Wetby made the disclosure this week, hours after it was announced that government had missed Tuesday's deadline for securing a buyer for the airline. Wetby says divestment plans are now set to be completed by the end of June 2009. A popular Jamaican roots and culture singer has been charged by cops in his homeland. Luciano, whose real name is Jeffter McClement, was charged with harboring a fugitive at his Westminster Crescent residence and studio. The 44-year-old Luciano became embroiled in the police investigation following an hour-long standoff last week that ended with the fugitive gunman Andrew Sr. being killed in Kingston. Two of the injured officers are still hospitalized. The other officer was released. Police claim Luciano knew of the background of Mr. Sr. and harbored him as part of his security detail. Three team members, along with the coach of the Jamaican bobsled team, are currently in Lake Placid getting ready for the season-ending America's Cup race. The America's Cup is one of the qualifying events ahead of next year's Olympics. Jamaica was represented in the two-man race by Hanukkah Wallace driver and Marvin Dixon brakeman on Wednesday, April 1st and Thursday, April 2nd. Both Wallace and Dixon have been members of the Jamaica's team since May 2007. For more Caribbean news, log on to cabotworldnews.com for your daily updates. And that concludes our news of the week. Up next is our entertainment news and community calendar.